My name's Christina and I'm the project architect and uh, one of the things I'm going to be talking to Andy about today is the colours in the classroom. So what we've got here is a drawing of each of the classrooms and it's marked up against a colour chart. Although there's lots of kind of similarities in the design, there'll be colour differences so that each class feels like they've got an identity with their room. So my name is Andrew Payne. I am the contractor and some people call that a builder. The job is the fit out of four number classrooms. New floors. New work tops. There's a piece of birch that yeah. goes on the face of this. Decorating. Uh, Refurbishing the, the roofs. It'd be fine, wouldn't you? You'd see it's different from the inside. Radiators. Mechanical. Electrical. Yeah, it's quite a sizable contract. <laughs> Here we have a 3D version of how the classrooms are going to look when we're finished. This is going to be the new reading area, so we called it the reading corner, and it all relates to the fireplace, so this is going to be a nice cosy corner for the children to sit in and enjoy the books, and it's also where the teacher's main space in the room is. So the idea is that you come up onto the step and it makes you feel like you're kind of special, something special is going to happen here. So we're very pleased with how these have come out. Well this is our programme which is uh, basically like a diary. It sets out the work that we need to do within a, a schedule. We started last week, so we're a week into the programme. Those areas were a little bit behind. We're pretty confident we can catch up. So here we are uh, on site, we are three weeks into the build, so that's just over halfway. Enormous amount of work has already been done, but there's still a lot more to do before the children come back to school in September. Sometimes you find unexpected things and quite often they're good rather than bad. When we took up the old carpet, we found these amazing wooden floors. This is the parquet floor, uh, which is pitch pine, which is very rare timber to find now. One of the things that happens in our industry, the building industry, is a, it's a tradition of leaving little items of interest. For example, I might leave a newspaper under a floor. And we had the good fortune of finding one such item behind one of the cupboards. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and handle it very carefully because it's quite fragile. This kind of thing really interests me. And this particular one dates the 27th of June, 1927. Teachers are used to working in classrooms that have no storage at all and so we have to pull in loads of items of furniture just to store all the different resources that they need for the children. That's not going to be the case in these classrooms because the storage is purpose built, so all this will be unpacked and put into the furniture that's on the design of the plan. We'll have storage at high level for the teachers here, then there'll be the looking shelf where the children can put their work. 
down here at this level will be a worktop, which is a lovely piece of oak, which will be continuous all along this wall for children to come and work at with storage drawers underneath. So this is one of my favourite things uh, about the new classrooms. I love this flooring. It's a great fizzy green colour and it makes me think about skiing out in some gorgeous countryside field somewhere. Yeah, so I think we're three quarters of the way through and uh, largely we're getting on very well. We've had one or two hiccups, but we're still pretty much on programme. In terms of problems, I think the biggest one was the structural element to the conservatory roofs. When we put the new glass in the roof, we decided to be extra sure that it was all going to be held up. So we put steel posts in, which are fixed, screwed to the floor, and also uh, at the head, at the top. Progress has been good. As normally happens, everything uh, gets condensed towards the end of the programme. So we've got lots of trades on site at the same time. So we're completing the joinery work, the floors, um, painting, electrics. Um, so we're all in that kind of final phase. So even though what you see here looks like we've got a long way to go, it's all cosmetic really. All the pipe work to all the radiators is in. So it's really the kind of final detail that's happening in the next two weeks. I'm putting this insulation on so that the cold water in the mains doesn't freeze and burst the pipes in the winter. Lagging the pipes saves the environment. So, welcome to the new classrooms. And uh, they're all finished now. Children have moved in and uh, everyone's very happy. They all got finished on time and within the budget that we had. This piece of furniture is by Community Playthings. Made of birch, uh, solid timber. All the furniture is mobile, which means that the teachers can change the rooms depending on what activities are going on during the day. One of the biggest changes in all of the rooms was to take out the old office type strip lighting and put in a much softer lighting for the children so it feels much warmer and softer. Um, and then previously there was a problem with the glare coming through at high level so we've put some new blinds in here and these are special blinds which let the daylight come through but they block the sunlight. So this is the fireplace which is a feature in each of the Victorian schoolrooms but actually the children have found a use for it themselves because they've put cushions in here and they use it as a reading space. Instead of having display boards, we've got these which allow the teacher and the children to just put their work in very easily and change it constantly. So the biggest piece of furniture in the room is this long workbench. It's got a looking shelf so that your work can get put up or any objects that you find and it's got lighting and storage above that for the teachers. It's really good that all of the stuff can be hidden away so you declutter the rooms. This is all that the teachers need. This is the lowered sink, um, which is at the right height for the children to use. And this is a nice coloured glass splashback. Each room has got its own colour. Here we can see one of the most dramatic changes that have happened. We uh, added a longer roof light which has got special glass in it so we don't have the same problem of this space getting too hot and too cold and now we've got some new furniture for the children to hang all of their coats. We've also got these tall covers here for the teachers to keep their belongings. We've also got these benches which have got heating underneath. I like the green dot on the floor. My favourite part of the classroom is the reading area. Well, 
for me this has been one of the most enjoyable projects I've worked on as an architect. It's been really good to work so closely with the teachers and the children about their classrooms and see everything happen so quickly over the summer holidays. When they all came back in September they had these fantastic new rooms. We're going to be looking at all the buildings on the site and uh, coming up with a master plan um, for the next five years of all the work that will be done to the buildings.